Okay, great, beautiful day here out on the Wisconsin River. What a backdrop. Uh, you know, over the years I've noticed uh, we climbers, me included, are highly drawn towards really elaborate systems. <laughs> you know, we've got our fancy retrievable redirects and we've got our, uh, you know, little gadgets that we want to always try to make things easier to. And, you know, one of those systems we've been drawn to over the years is, is the speed line. And I've discovered that there's very few opportunities where the speed line actually saves time. <laughs> it's, it's like it might be easier to have that brush gradually go to the chipper, but a lot of times rigging it straight down and just getting it to the chipper, however you get it there, is usually faster. Uh, but in this case, we've got a steep decline where we're going to utilize a speed line and it'll really make a lot of sense because everything's got to come up so gravity is not in our favor we're going to use machines to pull but with the speed line we're able to tension the speed line and get the load off of the ground ordinarily if we're dragging something up the hill we got all this friction and we're catching stumps and everything else if we can get that load up off the ground we can run it up the speed line and then get it up here where where a machine can get a hold of it and so we got this set up yesterday and you know the thing with the speed line is it's really labor intensive technically you need like two guys at each end just to make it work and uh if if in this situation it's it's gonna work but there's also a lot of things to think about like your pulleys up at the top of the tree have to be in the right configuration so yesterday actually we got pulling a load up and the lines kind of crossed and we abraded the line a little bit and that was just an oversight but it's those types of things in a speed line that you have to make sure you have all the things right and so i went up and adjusted the pulleys a little bit today and got those uh arranged rightly and we and we moved our our grcs tool here into a different angle so that those ropes are not coming in contact with each other and so we have two ropes uh 300 foot ropes here uh, we bought a 600 foot spool and cut it in half and we've got this uh rigging plate that i had designed years ago I had a machinist for a brother-in-law and he put this together and it's really heavy so it, it runs down the line all by itself nicely. And it's got two pulleys in there, so it, it runs level. We got a big clevis right in the middle that we put our slings on. And then we got the tag line. So right now I've got the tag line top, tied off so that it hangs here for us. Uh, ordinarily we'll, we'll pull the, the actual speed line and we'll tension that on the, on the tool and we've got a drill that we can put in here and speed up those revolutions and, and tension up that line and lift the load off the ground. And then the, the tag line here gets attached to a loader and we just back up and pull the load up the hill. And then when, we, when the load gets up to the top of the tree, our, our pinnacle tree here, then we loosen the speed line, lower the load down to here, and then, we, and then the loader can drive forward and lower the, the load completely to the ground. And then we're in a spot where we can grab it and go. And so we've got kind of a live, die, repeat uh, going on today. We're going to make a lot of brush at the bottom of the hill and one load after another coming up. So we'll have multiple guys at the bottom arranging. And what's kind of cool about this situation, we've got different lanes in which we're going to have material. And we don't have to move it down at the bottom. We can pull the, the speed line up and drop it down to a different anchor, anchor point and we change our, our direction. So this central tree, it's an ash tree that's coming out and we just kept the trunk so that we could use it for a high point that's at the top of the hill. It was our only option. And fortunately it's not too degraded as an ash tree that it's still sturdy enough to handle the loads. And so we've got a really good situation, central location on the hill that we can run different angles of line down and get the material up. But uh, speed line's a great thing if it's the right situation, and this is indeed the right situation.